Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to see how to make drop down lists in Microsoft Excel. That's where you can drop a box down and pick from a list of options. Okay, here I am in my spreadsheet. Let's say I got a real simple sheet. I got someone's name and I got their state. All right, I got Rick, I got Joe, I got Bill, I got Sue. Now over here, I wanna be able to pick from a list of options. Maybe there's only five or six states you do business in, right? So come over here anywhere, wherever you want it to be and put your list of states there. Florida, New York, PA, Texas, uh, Vermont, whatever. All right, that's my list of states that are valid options. Now, come over here. You can select just these cells, but we're gonna assume you're gonna probably add more customers to this list later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the entire column and then deselect the first row like that. I held down the control key on my keyboard and clicked on the first cell. So now I've got B2 to the very end of the sheet selected. All right, we're excluding that, that header row there. All right, now I'm gonna go to data and then data validation is that little button right there. You want data validation. I know it's hard to see because I got a small video window, but if you, if you open this up a little bit more like that, you'll see it says data validation, right? Okay. So click on that data validation button and this guy comes up. All right, under settings, we're gonna say allow, we're gonna pick from a list, a list of options. All right, now ignore blank, check that off if you don't want to allow blank values. I leave it on though, because I'd rather have no data than bad data. Because if you make it so you, they have to put something in there, if they don't know the answer, they'll put anything in there. So you'd rather just leave it blank, trust me. And then in cell drop down if you want to be able to see that little drop down list, which we do. Now here's the important part, source. Okay, this is the range of where your list of states is. So click this little button here, it'll collapse that window. Select your list, all right, H3 to H7. Make sure you got absolute references in there, those dollar signs, so that range doesn't shift up and down, right? Hit that button again, there's your range. Hit okay. And now, oh, look at that, we got a little drop down box there. Click in here, click, oh, look at that. We got a list of options you can pick from, see? That's nice and simple, that was real easy to do. Now, what if you wanna add to this list? Let's add Alaska, New Hampshire, uh, let's add, uh, what else, what else we got there, Oregon, right? Over here, notice, oh, well, they're not in there, right? Because that list isn't dynamic. So what I like to do is I like to either name the range and you can change the name or we can just use the entire column. So I'm gonna slide these guys to the very top up here like that, okay? Now let's delete the validation out of here already. In fact, I'm gonna just delete this whole column and start over, right click delete, okay? Let's start over, state. I'm gonna select the column and again, I deselect that first row data validation, allow, list. Now my source this time, move this out of the way, I'm gonna pick the whole column. And it says G to G, that's the whole column. All right, hit okay. And now notice we've got Pennsylvania, we've got New Hampshire, we got the new ones in here. Okay, but if I add more down here, say I add Kentucky. Okay, well now, Kentucky is a valid option, see? And if I do stuff later, like sort this column, okay, now you'll see that your list should be sorted, see? All kinds of tricks you can play. You can name this list. You could move this to a different sheet if you want to, All right? Come down here and click to add sheet two. And now I can just cut out this entire column, All right? Control X, come over here and then Control V. And now if you go back to sheet one, look at that. It's that cluttering up sheet one, but you still got your list. See, there's all kinds of tricks you can play with this stuff. If you'd like to learn more about drop down lists in Excel, I cover them in detail in my Excel expert level 10 class. We talk about lots of stuff. And one of the cool tricks I show you is we do something called a cascading drop down list where let's say you've got make and model, right? So in this box, you could pick the make and then this model box will only show you makes for, or models from that make. So you pick Ford, you'll only see Ford models in the next box. That's called a cascading drop-down list. That's really cool. 
Now, if you're interested in going beyond Excel, I also have a new video on how to create drop-down lists in Microsoft Access. For those of you who aren't familiar with Access, it's most of what I do. It's a powerful relational database tool that's designed specifically for managing large sets of structured data. While Excel is great for quick lists and calculations, Access really shines when you're working with related tables, complex forms. They need to ensure data stays clean and organized. So if you ever struggled with lookup tables in Excel or maintaining consistency across multiple sheets, multiple workbooks, Access can do all of that and a lot more with built-in relationship tools. So if you're ready to take your data skills to the next level, check out my Access drop-down list video. I'll put a link down below. It'll show you how to do it the right way. I'll even throw in a cool trick using VBA for those who like to tinker under the hood with some programming. But that's gonna do it for today, folks. That is your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. I'm excited to announce that I'm creating a brand new series of lessons focused on programming in Microsoft Excel VBA. If you've been looking to take your Excel skills to the next level and learn how to automate tasks, write custom macros, and unleash the full power of Excel VBA, these lessons are for you. Sign up now on my website at the link shown. You'll find a copy in the description down below the video window and I'll send you more information on this exciting new series. If you'd like to see me make more Excel tech help videos, post a comment down below and say, I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access, the database program, because that's been my forte for the past three decades or so. However, I love Excel and I'm more than happy to make more videos for Excel and Word and PowerPoint and all the other topics that I teach. As you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so make your voice heard and let me know you want more Excel videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you have down below. I do my best to read them all as soon as I can. And also, be sure to share this video with that person in the office that always asks you Excel questions. Or, you know, that family member, mom, when she calls you and says, hey, I can't do this, well, send her a copy of one of my videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Just click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when I post new videos. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, click the join button down below and you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos and one free beginner lesson every month. Gold members get access to download all the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use and a free expert level Excel course once a month after finishing the beginner lessons. And platinum members get access to all of the previous perks plus all of my full beginner courses and one new developer course every month after finishing the expert levels. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're looking for the links, click where it says show more down below the video window. YouTube actually does a pretty good job of hiding this thing. You'll see a list of other related videos, other information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when I post new videos, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's absolutely free. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of Microsoft Excel. And like I said before, even if you don't need it, I'm sure you know someone that does. That person that always is asking you Excel questions, well, send them this link. And if you like level one, level two is just a dollar and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. And if you like those, come to my website and I've got tons more lessons for all levels. I cover everything from the basics all the way up to advanced functions and more. And while you're on my website, stop by the Excel forum. Post any questions you have and join in the conversation. As always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.